Welcome to my lesson. Today I want to look at the preservation of crops, pro, uh, crops products, vegetable and, uh, and fruits in grade 6 in the, under the learning area called agriculture and nutrition. That's what we want to look at. So welcome to my lesson. So we look at various fruits in the with fruits and vegetables, and then we look at uh, what is the food preservation. It is the keeping uh, food in a state that make it last for long without being contaminated. So these are for some of the, the definition. So we look at another the various types of fruits. Uh, we have a few that uh, you know, we have lemon, have kiwi, have uh, pineapple, we have uh, uh, watermelon among others. So we also look at the vegetables, you can see carrot, tomato, cucumber, pepper among others. These are many you will be able to look at various vegetables here. We have cabbage, we have onions, spinach, uh, broccoli uh, among uh, others. These are the method uh, uh, grouped into two categories. The method that we use in preserving uh, various types of food, the traditional method and the modern method. Under uh, uh, traditional, we have smoking, drying, using sun, salty, salting, using honey or sugar, uh, use of wood ash, use of low temperature. Then under modern method of preserving our food, we have freezing or refrigeration. Uh, have canning, drying, use of the low uh, temperature. Let's look at the importance of preserving and storing food and uh, fruits and vegetables. It is important to preserve fruit and vegetable because it makes the last for long. It saves money. It prevents them from getting spoiled, avoid or uh, reducing wastage. It makes the seasonal fruits and vegetables available throughout the year when they are not there, you can be able to see them. Let's look at some of the facilities, the various facilities that we can use to preserve or store the fruits and vegetables. Uh, we have, uh, for example, we have mentioned plastic tin, jug, refrigerators, metal container. Uh, we talk about the traditional facilities among of these are uh, pots, wooden crates, uh, woven uh, basket, among others that I have mentioned here uh, on this page. So here we have uh, advantage. We have advantage. A disadvantage of various facilities that we use to store uh, to store the fruits and and vegetables. They are. They can be made locally. Uh, they can. They are strong and durable. Among others, you will be able to continue reading all these advantage and disadvantage. Among the disadvantage, pests can attack uh, the wood. Uh, the wood. The wood can also get uh, uh, damaged if the the crater and boxes are restored are stored in a dumped places where people are keep on pushing and, and so on. So these are some of the disadvantage and advantage of wooden crate or, uh, or, or box. Let's look at uh, woven, uh, woven basket advantage and disadvantage. They are available in different size. They, they are easy to carry. They allow the free uh, circulation of air which enable the fruits and vegetables to stay food, to stay fresh. They are less durable, as yes, you know, they can rot if you're exposed to the moisture. So very important at this point to understand it. Also let's look at the fridge. This is the modern, the one that we use mostly, uh, especially from the urban people. They mostly use, uh, they use the fridge. Uh, fridge uh, protect, uh, the, they protect food from the spoilage. They can be, they can accommodate a lot of fruit and vegetable or food. The vegetable can be can be preserved with it, either cooked or un uncooked. So these are advantages that are expensive to buy. That's number one. Number two, paying of electricity bill can be also expensive. They may not be useful at home where there there is no. Uh, 
there is no electricity so very disadvantaged to so many people who cannot afford to buy to buy the to buy the fridge mm -hmm. let's look at uh, fruits and vegetables ladder uh, they are made locally they can use the they can use the the timber to make this they are well ventilated which uh, which uh, which can uh, sorry uh, which can enable the fruits and vegetables to stay fresh uh, pests can attack the wood of yes sometimes so it might not be able to continue accommodating these uh, uh, these plants these uh, fruits and vegetables the sacks they are cheap net and uh, are made a strong material that it, uh, does not rot but uh, when you look at the disadvantage they do not protect the fruit from them uh, from against the injury so they can be they can be they can be damaged let's uh, now look out rain cut the, the weeds of uh, we supposed to dry the fruit and vegetable we normally use the sun drying if you it is usual useful in preserving the fruits and vegetables apart from the sun drying the fruits and vegetables can also be dried using the machine known as dehydrator the removing removing water uh, content from the fruits and the vegetable preserve them from long uh, preserves them from the longer compare when they are not they are fresh let's uh, look at uh, uh, now the hygiene practices what are you supposed to do you as a person when you are doing you are preserving the food you have to look at uh, various uh, measures the hygiene especially the especially the, the hygiene especially the the hygiene wash your hands thoroughly with a clean water and soap before handling the before handling the the vegetable or the fruit prepare them on a clean place or surfaces uh, dry them uh, on a clean surface make sure you raise them on a clean surface then protect uh, protect uh, preserved vegetables and fruit from the dirt and and the poison uh, substances we should observe uh, the following practices when preserving the fruits as i said the clean uh, clean the fruits and vegetables using clean water use use the clean store equipment tightly cover the containers used the to use to store the dry fruits and vegetables to, pre to prevent that from the entering wash your hands using the soap and water as i have said before handling fruits and vegetables use the fresh fruits and the vegetables use the clean water and uh, and the vegeta vegetable mm -hmm. now preserving fruits and vegetables using the dry method let's look at what we require to do when we really want to dry to, to preserve the fruit and, and and the vegetables we require a clean tray a rack a, a tin net a fresh fresh scales or skooma, clean water, sh sh sharp knife, chopping board, so that you can be able to, to use this. And so uh, these are some of the, the steps uh, to follow uh, when, uh, when, 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 preserving, when preserving the vegetables. Uh, now, we said pick, pick the vegetables in the morning and the evening when they are fresh the reason why we we harvest the fruit or pick the fruits in the morning or the evening it is because now they are very fresh we they are still they are fresh they are, they are very fresh the point here they are fresh so make sure you clean the vegetable before you remove be, before you start cutting them make sure you drain the water uh, deep after that dip the vegetable in a hot water for about one minute uh, to preserve the color the reason why I put them in water we want to preserve the color to maintain the color also to kill also to kill some of the bacteria or some enzymes that are there so I have not killed so this process is known as uh, this process is known as blanching this process is known as 
uh, blanching, removing the vegetable from the hot immediately, then cool them with the cold water, then you cut into it small uh, tiny using the sharp knife, then you spread, you start spreading, then keep the, the mat, keep them to the mat or a tray on an open place where there is, is their free circulation of where you can also cover the, the vegetables using a clean net. Uh, the reason why we, 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 we cover them, we want to, to protect them against the, the, the what, uh, against the what? against the insect and the dirt so uh, these are some of the the things that we we look at and uh, these are the examples of this the, the, the skumas that are that are dry uh, these are um, these are uh, the skuma wiki let me put it uh, here uh, skuma wiki skuma wiki these are skuma wiki that are here or we call them uh, we call them kels. We also call them kels. Call them kels. So here they are. Now they are dried. Now let's look at the the fruits. We require the same uh, the same material apart from the, the the ripe mango. Now we are talking about mango. You might if you don't have mango, can dry a date or coconut. These are some few examples. Still, you do the same. Make sure you peel peel the peel the what. Peel the mango, make sure you have a ripe mango, peel the mango, then slice the mango, spread on a tray, on a, the slices on tray or a mat. Make sure they are very clean, uh, cover uh, using, uh, using a clean using a clean net. This is the, the mango that I have already dried, so you can, uh, you can see how they look like. Now uh, we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.